This is pasta alla gricia. It's just hog jowl rendered down to create the lipids for the dish that the mountainous people of Grishino couldn't get from olive oil. So this created the oil for the dish. They mixed it with their local pecorino cheese. And it's very simple, it's very rustic, but the fantastic thing is it's the grandfather to the two dishes that defined my childhood. This is Frankie Cook's. So, start off with some guanciale in the pan. One egg yolk per person eating this. Into our egg, we add some more pecorino cheese. Mix it around, let them get to know each other. I like to cook it a little bit underdone so that the last absorption of liquid into the pasta is the fat. The reason we don't want to add the egg in the pan is because it becomes a frittata. Pour while mixing here. A little bit of a time. You gotta do this while it's hot. If you do it while it's cold, then you really do have a raw egg. Carbone is coal in Italian, and the legend goes that either the black bits of pepper look like coal, or that the coal miners ate it in a little town called Rome. Maybe you've heard of it. it happens to be 100 kilometers southwest of Grishano. So here's evolution number two of Grishano. Spaghetti alla carbonara. I want it. It's wonderful. The most important thing is the guanciale, the hog jowl or pancetta or bacon. You throw it right into your hot pan. This is where the oil from the dish comes. You see in here that the guanciale has left beautiful souks. Remove your guanciale. You can see, look at all the oil that's left behind. I'm gonna throw some onions in the pan. The liquid of the onions has helped significantly pull those souks off. And now essentially we have a clean pan. Flip this around. Grate in a little bit of carrot. It adds for deep color and it adds sweetness that a lot of people try and achieve by adding sugar. This also helps thicken the sauce so it can be a replacement for tomato paste. Here we have San Marzano tomatoes. So this comes right in. Come in with scissors. We already have very thickly cut onions, so these chunks of tomato will go really well with it. Do not cover this, leave it open. We want the water to evaporate away. We want this to become thick. So this is a perfect time to put the water on the stove. You want to put a lot of salt in here. You want it to taste like the ocean. You want the salt to be in the pasta. In with our rigatoni. Okay, now the guanciale returns to the sauce. You add a little bit of olive oil. You add your pecorino cheese. And you stir it up. It's delicious. If I can cook, you can too.